going to talk about installing these rubber pads. Um, <clears throat> they're pretty self-explanatory as far as what they do. They are a vibration dampening system. When you do install them, you want to install them so that the tall side, there's like a skinnier side and a taller side. You want the tall side to be up so that the skinny side is this way. Um, and I know that it feels like they're sticky and that it's going to stick on there like that. That's not going to stay. You have to super glue these on. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some super glue and I'll show you how to do it really quick. So you basically just want to cover this whole thing. Make sure that there's super glue on the whole entire thing. Okay. Just like that. There's no all the way to the edge. Keep it off your fingers, obviously. And then you can place that right where you want it. And it's going to kind of goo out a little bit. That's normal. So you want to place it fairly in the middle. It's not exact. It's not the end of the, the world. But this stuff is really sticky and it doesn't look like it's cut, but it is. So you just kind of pull it apart and it'll come back to its regular position. So make sure you remove the plastic parts that are on there. We've taken the plastic off and we're just going to go ahead. I don't know how well you can see this, so I'm trying to make it very clear. You kind of goop that stuff on. Make sure that you get it to the very edges. Just kind of like get it out like that. It's nice and shiny. It's all on there. We'll stick that guy right in about in the middle there. Like that. And then we're going to let him dry. But I'm just going to go ahead and do all of them for you really quick. Make sure you remove that plastic stuff, otherwise it won't stick. And again, we're putting the tall side up. We don't want to glue them on the flat way. It'll still work, but it's not going to work as well. This is going to get rid of all the vibrate or all the jello that could be coming through. And this stuff is really crazy. It just will stretch and bend and do all kinds of stuff and it always goes back right to its original shape so go ahead and cover that nicely with super glue right to the edge on all edges there and it's going to kind of squish out on anyways when you put it down but tricky part is getting your fingers out of there And then the next step is going to be just to do the same exact thing. So what we'll do is we'll put glue on the top of every single one of these and then we'll set the, the quad frame right up on top of that. And you want to line it up so that they're, so it's like in the middle here and in the middle here. So it takes a kind of a precision little lineup, but you want to put the glue on as fast as you can so it doesn't dry and then you're going to set the quad down on top of it. So after you've got your quad on here, I put a couple batteries on the top of it just to kind of push everything down to make sure that it's going to get a good seal. Um, I let it dry for about a half an hour. Could take a little longer, but if you give it a half hour and then sometimes you want to get in and wipe the extra stuff off. That's like oozing out on the side. It's a good idea just to get that stuff out of the way. Um, after you put your batteries on, maybe take a paper towel and just wipe it down on the edges there. But you can see that it's dry and it's got lots of movement there, um, independent of this. And that's what gives us our vibration dampening. So that's how you install those. Make sure that they're tipped up. If they are tipped down, they still will work, but they just don't give you quite as much motion up and down because there's more surface area that's glued to both sides. So, um, that is my tip for the day on those, and thanks for watching.